Ahihik is fast becoming one of the most popular destinations for people to move to when they consider retiring or simply moving abroad. When we consider moves there, today we're going to talk about pro and cons of the city. I'm Roddy and this is Landy and we moved to Querétaro, Mexico in 2021 with our son Louis. In our videos we help people who may be deciding whether or not to move to a new country and life abroad as a family. Let's get started. Big cons of moving to Ahihik is the pollution of the lake. If you're into recreational activities on the water, you may want to think twice before moving here. If you enjoy swimming or fishing, again, this may not be the place for you. The cons of Ahihik is the size-wise, it's small. Not so many restaurant choices, not so many shopping mall choices. It's not so big. You walk around, probably by one or two hours, you get it. And because the size-wise, you may go to some restaurants you like or cafes you like and you meet the same people if that's a lifestyle you like sure go for it but for some people maybe you don't like it housing in ahihi can be expensive if you're looking to purchase while there are lots of realty shops and realtors willing to take you on open houses and show you homes there and they are very beautiful again the prices can be very expensive from 200 to 300,000 and even more so consider this before purchasing a house in ahihi another cons in Ahihik is the cobblestone roads. They are beautiful to look at it, but once you are in the vehicle you, or you drive, those bumps are really happened. It happened to us, we drove around there looking for a parking lot. It took forever and so much bumps. And because of the cobblestone, if you are in the elder age, you gotta be cautious of walking on those cobblestones. It may cost you a trip. And in Ahihik, there is only one main road which connects with all the little towns along the lake. But once any accident happens, it may cause some time stuck in the traffic. Another big con when thinking about whether to or not to move to Ahihik is the medical care. While there are some smaller clinics and pharmacies to take care of some smaller ailments, which is great, but for any major surgeries or any major emergencies, you will have to travel to Guadalajara, which may be over an hour away. So consider this before moving there. One of the biggest things to consider if you have a family and young ones is the schooling in the area. As far as we know, the area of Ahihik and Lake Chapala is not known for its big international schools. So you may want to consider this before moving there. And again, with us having our little one, it's probably one of the most important things for us to consider. What do you think of our con list so far? Do you have one or two more cons to add on? Leave us a comment in the below. Now, let's get to our pro list. Now we talk about the pros of Ahihik. Of course, the number one pro, the biggest pro is the climate. Maybe that's also why you heard about Ahihik. It's everywhere on the internet. Once you search for best weather, best climate place in the world, Ahihik always pop on the number one or number two. So the climate is lovely. If you want some eternal spring, you don't feel the heat in the summer, you don't sweat so much, you don't need the air conditioner, Ahihik is your choice. There is a very big expat community in Ahihik, one of the biggest in Mexico. And if you have trouble with the language of Spanish, this may be great for you because lots of people speak English, whether it's other expats or even some of the vendors. And when you go to restaurants, a lot of the menus are in English as well. So it could make your life a lot easier while living there. And with a big expat community comes a great place to meet expats. One of the best places is the Lake Chapala Society. Now you do have to pay a fee to join, but once you join, it offers so many things. There's open mic days, there's pottery classes, art classes, you can learn Spanish. They even have a library where you can check out books and videos. It's a great way to meet friends and new people if you're new to town. Another big pro of Ahihik is the peace. I walk around there, I feel so peaceful from those cobble stone streets to the malecon along the lake. You hear those birds chirping, you feel the breeze, just the whole feeling. You are in another world. A big pro for living in Ahihik is the cost of living. Now, some might say that it's expensive to live in Ahihik, and for most, this is probably by Mexican standards. But if you're coming from the US or Canada, the cost of living is still very affordable. Another big pro in Ahihik is it's so arty. When you walk around, you will find those galleries everywhere. From the art gallery of painting, sculpture, portraits, etc. If you're into art, 
that's your place. Even you are not. This town will definitely give you a beautiful feeling. A great thing about Ajijic is its proximity to Guadalajara. And it's also very close to the airport, only about 30 to 45 minutes. And once you're in Guadalajara, there's has so many things to offer. First, it's so close, only about an hour away. And once you're there, it offers great shopping, great medical care, great cuisine, and all the things that a big city offers. Definitely worth checking out. Another big pro is you have the opportunity to live in the beautiful Lakeview house. In Ajijic and the Lake Chapala area, you can find so many opportunities of Lakeview house. They have a beautiful big deck, you have a view of the lake, and you have the nice hills behind you. You can drink a wine, look at the sunset, and feel the breeze. What a life! A great thing about Haihihik is how safe it feels. Again, their crime is generally very low, but just like any place around the world, you always have to watch your surroundings to be careful. But there is a general sense of safety in the area. Another pro is the scenery. It's gorgeous. You see the lake, it's so peaceful, it's dark blue. And when I walk along the cobblestone street, I see all the murals on the wall, they are beautiful. Those colors just steal my heart. And you walk along the street, you see all those art pieces everywhere in those little shops. And those mountains, wow. You see the water, you see the old town cobblestone streets, and you see those mountains healing around. It's like in the movie. Ahihik is close to so many other local towns. So if you're looking for that local flavor and looking to get away from all the expat community, it's a great way to take advantage of all the local communities. You can go to Chapala, which is only about 20 minutes away by car. And it offers so many things along its Malikon. It has a, a big market, there's lots of restaurants with music. It's a great place to go out and, and enjoy a weekend. Such a great place. But there's also so many other towns. And for those people who are into being outside and exercise, there's even a bike lane that goes all the way to Chapala and beyond. Now that we've gone through our pros and cons list, will we decide to move to Ahihik? For the moment, probably not. But I do like Ahihik. The lake is so peaceful and I like those arts galleries. And probably we will just go there for some short-term vacation. Yeah, with our little one Louie, it'd be a little bit hard to move there. We're not really too sure about the school system there. But maybe when we retire from being parents, we could move to Ayihik. Yeah. So, what do you think? <laughs> Leave a comment below, let us know what you think, and thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye. Ayihik cons lack of variety. Not so many shops, not so many restaurants, not so many malls. So, it's small. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of our list of cons so far? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs>